What the? <laughs> what was this guy trying to do, bro? Been a little too nice to y'all. Now I got to up price for y'all. Snake eyes on dice for y'all. Shoulders on ice for y'all. Frozen. Hey, yeah, you. What's going on, guys? <laughs> Welcome back to some more. Damn, for a second I drew a blank. I didn't know what I was playing. But Shinobi Life 2 here on the channel, guys. As you can see, I'm level 1,000. But that's not all. If I bring up my leaderboards, I'm rank D2 level 1,000. Now, I don't know if you guys want to see me try to max out on this game, dude. But uh, to get to this point, it, it took me a lot. Like, I, I literally been pushing myself because I got so annoyed at people that were absolute noobs in the last video complaining about my opinion as per usual. But I guess it's like reverse peer pressure in a way. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. All right, is this guy okay? Can this guy stay away from me? Cause dude, listen, man, the lobby that I'm in right now is so toxic. Like literally, everybody is killing everybody, and I was just like, before I even started recording, I was poning some noobs, but I also got poned in the process because a lot of the stuff in this game, like I've just been grinding, but I've been saving for like a fresh perspective in a video, so I haven't unlocked anything. So by the title of this video, you might already be aware of the fact that we are gonna try to play as Kisame. If I go into my Kekagenkai's here in the menu, you guys can see that I have the Hoshigaki. I have it all the way ranked out, maxed out. But before we get into that, I want to go ahead and equip my Saru Tobi because this is the thing. In the last video, there was also some news trying to tell me like, oh, somebody going to tell him he's using Ash Jutsu and not Saru Tobi? That's not Saru Tobi, bro. Dude, I, I literally didn't have like the equip unlocked. So if I go ahead and press the Z to go into my mode, this is Saru Tobi. As you guys can see, we transform and we use our little like scroll ban thing on our back over here and then if we press like the z key again we pretty much summon my man's name that i forgot but he he goes off and starts attacking people look you see pretty fun <laughs> Now, additionally, I've been trying to do everything that I could do in the Leaf Village before I move on to another uh, another village. And I managed to get a couple of companions. So there's my boy Minato, Minato, whatever you want to call him. Look at him. <laughs> Let me see how he's killing this new real quick. <laughs> oh, why you? Oh, he's looking at me, guys. He's like, what the hell, bro? Cash boy in the stream chat. Well, not in the stream chat, but in the chat says that boy OG said he been grinding, man. D2. Yo, you already know, man, because people didn't understand me. Like, that's what I hate when I make Roblox videos and I make critique videos or videos where I talk about games people don't understand especially on roadblocks dude like it, it, it hurts my brain honestly because i was saying the game isn't hard it's hard in the sense that it's all dependent and contingent on rng so it's a luck factor that really dictates your progress in the game not necessarily how much you play oh wow what the hell is that oh so yeah, dudes were, dudes were trying to tell me like, oh, you wouldn't get this game if you don't know how to play RPGs. Oh, you wouldn't know how to play this game if you don't like grinding. Oh, you can't grind because you're a noob. And it's like, all right, dude. So let's see what you guys have to say now. Like, But anyway, before I go off on a tangent, because I've been very, very hostile recently, guys. I've been so mad at some of the comments I've been getting. <laughs> Let me go ahead and go into my menu here. We're going to start unlocking all of our abilities and we're going to take a look. This will be the first time that I actually take a look at the Hoshigaki mode in this mode, but I'm anticipating that it'll be pretty cool. I actually forgot to equip some of my moves here. So let's put uh, this stuff on V, B, N. Oh, and lastly, let me also show you guys. Like I said, I haven't been able to get the eight inner gates which spawns in the leaf village, but I've managed to get a lot of the other stuff as far as like the companions, as you guys can see, that do spawn in the leaf village from bosses in the leaf village. So that's pretty much what I've been doing right now. I'm trying to complete one village before I move on to the another. But at this rate, I'm just gonna have to do what it does, as they say, and just go on to another village. Because it's really, really, really hard. As you guys can see, I also have some of these jutsus. I haven't unlocked anything because, like I said, when I do use them, I, I want to save it for a reaction or my initial impression for a video, but haven't gotten lucky at all with any modes. No modes at all, no gens, and that's mainly because I don't go hopping from server to server. I find that very annoying. So I'll probably be one of the lamest YouTubers that you guys watch with like no gen cloaks or whatever, but um, we'll see how it goes. So anyhow. We are going to go ahead and utilize our moves on somebody. Let me ask somebody if they pretty much want to be a test dummy for the Hoshigaki showcase that I'm going to do right now. So I'm going to give them a shout out. Oh, my man's over here. My boy Zen. He wants to be a little showcase dummy, eh? <laughs> All right, kid. Uh. Oh. Oh, what was that? Did we go underwater with the shark and then attack him? All right. So that was my V key. My B key. Oh, what the hell is this? Is that like a bro? All right, I don't know what that was, <laughs> but that was my B key and then my N key. Oh, I just pushed him away real quick, but my N key is this jutsu right here. Okay, that had to be like a, a tracking type of honing ability. Let me go ahead and use my V key from all the way over here. 
Oh, okay. I didn't go underneath water. It's just like it attacks. But the V key is very similar to the N key. So the N key is the water style super shark bomb. And I guess the regular one is the shark bomb. Oh, it's shark rush, actually. And then the B key that we had is the whirling tide. That's why it looked the way that it did. But that, that's just like a super weird like move. Like, look at this move. Doesn't really do much of anything. Like, he can still move around, I believe. Maybe he just can't leave the tide area. I could be wrong on that. But anyway, let's go and hold down. Oh, it's starting to rain. How perfect, eh? <laughs> Let's go ahead and charge up all our chakra. We're going to try to go into our mode. Let's wait for our MD to just uh, replenish real quick. All right, guys. So I'm going to go ahead and use our mode here. And oh, look at this thing. Yo, look at us, yo. Holy crap, man. We look so freaking cool, bro. What? Now, what would have made this even better is if I went into Ninja Tools. And I think Shark Skin is here, right? I think, yeah, you see Samaheda, but that's in the Koski base. And wink, wink, that might be on your next video or something on the channel, so stay tuned. But I can't get that, so I, that would have definitely added to the whole showcase if, if I could actually become Kisame Kisame. But character looking pretty sick, if I happen to say so myself. Now, we're going to go ahead and test out our standard combos here. Okay, pretty much the same. All right, not bad, not bad at all. Now, if I press my Z key again, let's see what happens here. Okay, oh, you make a really big water area and you go underwater. Now, if I, oh, I can attack it from underwater, guys. Look, oh, that is sick, dude. What? Yo, that is so sick. I think that would be a really cool thing to use in PvP because they can't damage you while you're underwater. And I'm going to wait for my ultimate here to replenish so I can show you guys. Zen says in the chat that that move actually drained his chakra big time. So, again, this move right here, this move might be extremely OP, guys, in PvP because, I mean, look, you can attack him underneath water. You can move quicker if you hold on the shift key underneath the water and they can't hit you. That is actually super sick. Wow. All right, bro. That definitely is the highlight of this move here because, I mean, the ultimate, which is the N key, like the regular base ultimate out of the moves is all right. But holy crap, bro. The ultimate, ultimate, you are, and I can't get over how our character looks. He looks so freaking sick. So but here we go, man. Just like this move right here is the icing on the cake, bro. I love this thing, man. That's so cool. Now, Cash Boy is telling me in the chat that the Ninetales is going to spawn. And there's a probability it'll spawn in a couple of minutes here, like in around 20 minutes. So I might stick around in this lobby and see if I can get this on camera. If I can. <laughs> Yes, sir. Oh, my man actually had the clay. Oh, man. Look at this thing. Ah, oh, man. This guy is lucky. By the way, guys, right now, if I go into my menu, you can see I only have 19 spins. I'm trying to bulk save spins because I've heard that in this game, they added a mechanic to where like every 90 spins or something like that, you're guaranteed a rare Kekagenkai. So I'm just trying to save a bunch of spins that way. When I do happen to spin, I can at least guarantee myself a rare Kekagenkai. Now, also, guys, right now, the triple bladed claw is my favorite weapon in the game. I haven't really used any of the other ones. But, bro, look at look at this thing. This is the triple bladed claw. This thing is so cool. Like, if I attack my boy Zen over here, you guys can see. Like, look, look at this thing. This thing is just so awesome. I think it definitely fits the whole aesthetic of being a shark more or less also by the way guys let me know what you think in the comments below but i definitely think they should add the ability for you to buy more than just three spins with robux because right now i feel like that's very annoying having to buy three spins spinning three times and then having to buy another three i wish they added an option for like 100 spins 50 spins that way you know you waste less time and effectively get more kick again kai's but i'm sure they might not do that because maybe that would mean more people would get kick again kai's and ultimately spend less on the game but that would be nice if they decided to do that i would definitely be like super supportive of that let me know what you guys think about that as well in the comments below so i'm talking to these guys over here and they're telling me like yeah you definitely have to hop on private servers in order to get any luck to get some of the gins and that's my problem like i'm just like bro i don't want to be hopping one to one to one to one to one to another to another you know so i guess i, I will have to see maybe we might get lucky this time around over here oh what the hell oh damn that thing is freaking sick man so the chat right now is telling me that I'm a little bit outdated because I have the claws. I didn't know the claws were apparently old. I mean, I do have a couple of other weapons. Weapons are just pretty hard to find. I don't have a lot of them unlocked. And I thought these I had unlocked somehow, some way, but I don't even know because if you click them, it doesn't unlock anything. So I'm not sure how you would unlock these. And I also have the Sembomb Blade, but I don't think the Sembomb Blade is any good. Let me, let me, let me, see, let me equip it. I haven't played with it at all though. So yeah, the Sembomb Blade, you literally just throw it. <laughs> look, I can look at this guy. 
Boom, baby. I just shot him and it poisons him, I think. So, yeah, right now I'm just going to stick with the claws. If I go to other villages, that's the thing, right? A lot of these things aren't spawning in the leaf. Like, this one is, let me see, this weapon is in the rock. This is in the Akatsuki base. A lot of them are like in the Akatsuki base. So, that's what I mean. I need to leave the leaf village because I haven't, believe it or not, I haven't explored other areas. I've only gone to the forest of death and that's it. Oh, and the rock village, I think, a little bit. But I'm trying to do one area at a time, bro. So I decided to head over here to the um, Kuruma spawn just because I'm going to see if, if it spawns or anything. What the hell is that in the background over there? I think there might be people off in the background just fighting. So, wow. So they actually increased the rarity for the Kuruma Jin. I don't know when they did that, but now it's a 1 out of 40 chance. Before, I believe it was like a 1 out of 30 chance or something. So 610. It's currently 605 right now if you look at the upper right-hand corner. So we're just going to see if this bad boy spawns here. If he doesn't... Um, Gonna try to, you know, private server hop and we'll see how it goes. One of the guys in this lobby told me he'll actually be sending me messages if he finds one. So we'll see. We'll see, man. Maybe we might get lucky for this video. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what is this guy trying to do, bro? Yo, this guy has so many modes. Look at him, bro. Man, it's showing off at this point. And what the? All right, you know, this, this guy's acting out, bro, for real. So, guys, five seconds until it's actually 610 and we we'll see whether or not homie spawns and, uh, Damn, unfortunately, GG's voice. All right, well. Six and a half hours later. All right, guys, so I, I've been hopping for some time. Uh, unfortunately, wasn't able to find the gin cloak. This is this is why I don't do this type of stuff because it's like it's so annoying and like the disappointment is really big when you don't happen to get it to spawn because. Let's say you set an alarm clock to wake up at this time and then it doesn't spawn. Or let's say you check it up at the afternoon time, which is 6 o'clock in the afternoon or the evening, whatever, and it still doesn't spawn. And so it's like, you know, it's demoralizing, but that's pretty much going to be it, guys. I'm going to sum it up this video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to support the video by dropping a like. And don't forget to use Star Code OG Vax in the shop when you buy some Robux on Roblox. All right, guys? We'll catch you guys later, man. Peace. For the, for the